The thing I love about golf is you sometimes have pleasant surprises. Had a sophomore show up to tryouts this year, really athletic, really good potential ball striker. And so I love this quote, again from Bobby Jones. I get as much fun as the next man from wailing the ball as hard as I can and catching it squarely on the button. But from sad experience, I learned not to try this in a round that meant anything at all. Aaron is one of the biggest hitters on our team. In one of our very first tournaments, Aaron found out that narrow golf courses, big hitters, sometimes not a good combination. <laughs> But what Aaron lacks in experience, he makes up for a drive. This kid is driven. If you're a sophomore, if you're a freshman coming up thinking, I got this thing, this is the kid you're going to have to go through in this program. He's like, coach, here's the prep cards I did for practice. Here's the practice rounds I'm playing. Here's the stuff I'm doing. I play baseball. I do this. Aaron doesn't accept good. It's not okay with him. He wants to be great. He is driven. He is passionate. If you want to be good in this program, it goes through him. Because he is going to work his tail off. And he's going to find the balance. He's going to find a way to make this thing work out. And I have just seen it. Every once in a while, and I've done it in these banquets for years, I've said, this is the player y'all better just pay attention to because he will set a standard that you're going to have to meet. And this young man will be setting the standard for the boys standing next to him and every boy following him who's not graduating from this program. Aaron has the physical school skills to do the job as he gains more experience, as he just grits his way through things. He's just going to be good. Okay? And being talented but not working hard is not going to be enough to beat this kid. It's just not going to, because he doesn't accept it. And so it was a wonderful surprise to have in our program this year. I think he's learned a ton. I think he is just so doggedly determined to be successful that he's going to be hard to stop. And those of you who have expectations of playing at that varsity level, if you want to be number one, you're going to have to go through this young man, because he is serious about this game and serious about doing well in it. It's early Sunday morning, the sun is coming up I'm on the tee at seven, I'm here to try my luck They say this game's a tough one, but I'll give it my best shot Though the bunkers look like beaches and the greens like parking lots Oh Lord, what am I gonna do? Help me keep my head down, save me from those double bogey blues. First I pull out my driver, I check my stance and grip. I'm trying to remember every single Nicholas tip. Straighten that left elbow, slightly bend your knee. Keep your head behind me, Paul, and look out for those trees. Oh, Lord. What club should I choose? You know I'm lost out in the forest Save me from the double bogey blues Two of them are lost Got 200 yards of water Then I got to get it across Did I hear somebody talking About a $40 bet I got 30 in my pocket But I won't let them see me sweat Oh Lord The next bud's for you Help me with this 
Rudy Wood Save me from old double bogey blues Well, I'm on the 18th and 7th My knees begin to shake I'm praying I can one putt Try to save an eight It's a forty dollar Nassau If I sink this, I'm a lock I be sitting in the clubhouse Sipping bourbon on the rock Oh, Lord What am I gonna do? Help me keep my head down Save me from those double bogey blues Church next Sunday to save me from the double bogey blues.